Hello, Gamer Nom is back. And in this video, we're going to continue helping this noob reach 3rd C using the version 2 of Dark Blade. But before that, you can show your support by using star code Gamer Nom when purchasing your Robux. Gwen, the actor, slam. Oh, they're dancing forward. That's your slam. That's the dunk. Okay, so before we start, let me show you the difference of the version 1 and version 2 Dark Blade. So these are the skills of the version 1, that's Z skill and the X skill. Now, when you've upgraded it, this is the X skill and this is the Z skill. There you go. Okay, so back to grinding. We're gonna grind Cyborg from 700 to 750. I'm gonna show you a tip on how to defeat him easily. Guys, remember this tree here, okay? And this should be the position of Cyborg. So from this area, you can hit him. He cannot damage you. Check that, guys. Use your Z and X skill, no damage inflicted, so there you go, you can easily defeat him. Again, server hop is the key here, again I suggest that you level up until you reach level 750. Next up, we can now go to the second C, but before that, shout out to Tom Sensei, one of my moderators in the Discord group guys, he taught me how to find empty servers in the second and the third C which made my server hop strategy effective. So here we're gonna go straight with the diamond. It's kinda tanky but it's easy to defeat. Our goal here is to reach level 775. But Gamer Gnome, I don't know how to server hop. Then, your choice is to defeat the mercenaries until you reach level 775. So here you go, you're just gonna lure them. I said I'm just showing it to you, but I really don't suggest this because they're so far apart and you're only using Dark Blade, so you need to really dodge a lot. There you go, that's how you defeat them. Again, you need to defeat 8, lure, jump, use your skills, and defeat them. Okay? Okay, so there you go. The goal here is to reach level 775, right? Again, it's your choice. Stat check, melee. 350, defense is 700, sword 1275. Next up guys, we're gonna start grinding this one pirates. So guys, I'm gonna show you a full clip on how to finish a single quest because someone requested it. So comment it on the comment sections if you want me to do it that way. Okay, so we're gonna lure 4, right? After that, you can use your observation hockey so that you can dodge their attacks. There you go, jump. Use your skills to damage them. Go in, use your left click, your left clicks to finish them off and do it twice, okay? So that's how I lure and defeat the Swan Pirates. Again, your goal here is to reach level 850. If you notice, we skipped one mob right in the factory area because they're so far apart. What you're gonna do is you're going to head to the cafe and start the Bartillo quest. So he has two quests for you. First is you need to defeat 50 Swan Pirates. There you go. I'm just gonna fast forward it. There you go. You will level up here thrice, I think. There you go. After that, his next request to you is to defeat Jeremy. So we're gonna head to Jeremy and we're gonna level up here until 900, guys. Okay? So after defeating him, there you go. He will speak to you. This is part of the Coliseum quest, so make sure to finish this. But again, if you don't know how to server hop, just focus on defeating the Swan Pirates. But it's kinda harder because the experience is kinda low at this point. But don't worry, patience is the key. There you go, at level 900, we are now going to proceed to the green zone. New area, we're gonna grind the marine captains here. I'm gonna show you a full clip on how to defeat them. Guys, you're gonna lure them without hitting them, okay? Again, just go near them and they will try to attack you. Again, reminder, they will rarely, rarely use their range attack. Okay, so once you lure 5, for the first set, you need to lure 5. There you go and use your skills don't forget to use your observation hockey check this out guys the moment that you hit them they will hit you with continuous range attacks check this out guys see that they will keep on attacking you and if you do it while luring it will be really hard for you to lure them properly okay so that's my technique there you go now lure four use your skills see that guys it's very easy to oh i missed that one just defeat them with left clicks there you go the goal here is to reach level 925. That's just 25 levels. And after that, we are moving on to our next target, the mini boss in this island. My favorite, oh no, second favorite now, my favorite smoker. 
Fajita or Fujitora, he is located here. Guys, my technique here is just maintain your distance. Okay? And that's it. Use your X skill. That will be the one that will damage your enemy. And one more thing. Guys, you can dodge his meteor when you jump high. Unless you get hit directly by the meteor. For example, this one. You're gonna use that. Just jump high, guys. Okay? Unless you get hit again by the meteor, you will dodge everything. So the goal here is to reach level 1000. Stat check. Melee 450, 800 defense, 1700 sword. Next area is the snow mountain. So here you go. Guys, we're gonna just defeat the snow troopers here from level 1000 to 1100. So again, you're gonna lure them without hitting them. Again, guys, we're gonna do that strategy because it's kinda really hard for us to dodge all of their skills. Again, after that, use your observation hockey, use your skill to defeat them, or you can use your left clicks, okay? As long as you reach level 1100, after that, we're moving on to our next island, the hot and cold. So here, we're gonna start defeating the lab subordinates. As I lured the enemies here by damaging them because we can hide on top of the trees. Not like the other mobs, they don't have a lot, very long range attack. But guys, I suggest that you always turn on your observation hockey. I'm gonna show you why. Check this out, I don't have the observation hockey. I still have this uh, blink type skill. Check that out, guys. I almost died. So, again, I told you make sure to always use your observation hockey. The goal here is to reach level 1150. And once you reach that level, next stop, my favorite boss in this sea. Yeah, I, I think this is my favorite. Next is Fajita. He's a smoker, a smoke admiral. Why? Because he's so easy to defeat. Next is he is near. The quest giver, comparing it to Diamond and uh, Jeremy, right? Also Fajita, this one is near. Check that out, the damage is already high. And that's it. The goal here is search level 1250, guys. Server hop is the key. Again, shout out to Tom. Appreciate the help. <laughs> he taught me how to do server hop. Again, the goal here is search level 250. Next up is the cursed ship. So here we're gonna defeat two mobs. First up is the ship deckhand. You're gonna defeat them until you reach level 1200. I sorry, 1300. Lure 4, guys, they don't have long range attacks, which makes it easier for you to defeat them. Lure them, use your skills, and left clicks, okay? See that? I didn't even use uh, observation hockey. There you go. Unless if you miss them, because it's kinda dark here, use your observation hockey. Next up is the ship stewards, so they're located here. Lure 4 at a time. Do this twice to finish the quest. There you go. So use your Z and X skill plus left clicks. That's enough to defeat four. Again, you need to defeat eight to finish a quest. The goal here is to reach level 1350. For that, we're gonna do stat check first. There you go, 1350. Stat check, 680 melee, defense 1070, max sword at 2300. Next area is the second to the last area of grinding the ice castle. So we're gonna start here with the Arctic Warriors. So you're gonna lure them, guys. You should not hit them. Why Gamer Realm? Check this out. I tried hitting them in the first set of mobs. So they started attacking me with long range attacks. There you go. So if this happens, make sure to just lure them without hitting them, okay? On the next set, I tried that strategy again. No hitting. There you go. I'm gonna lure four. So if you do this properly, you're just gonna need to use your Z and X skill plus left clicks, okay? To finish a quest, and that's it. The goal here is to reach level 1400. And once you reach that level, you're gonna do server hop again with this mob, the boss, the Ice Admiral. Technique here, guys, use your skills, hide on top, wait for it to cool down, there you go. Or, throw him on top. And defeat him with your skills okay so that's it it's really easy to defeat this ice admiral so the goal here is to reach level 1475 and after that final island forgotten island so here we're gonna start defeating the tide keeper until you reach 1500 guys remember this area this is stone you're just gonna stay here wait for him to go towards you and defeat him use your skills there you go guys he will not summon his sea beast if you're here in this area okay 
So once he summons his Sea Beast, just reset. It's really hard to defeat it one-on-one. -on -one. And guys, check this out. We're just using the Dark Blade, okay? Okay, so we're gonna grind here until we reach level 1,500, guys. Oh, we got the Water Key. That's kind of lucky. Next up, guys, make sure to finish the Coliseum quest so that the door will open here. Okay, so once it opens and you're level 1,500, you can talk to King Redhead here. Like Indra, make sure that he reaches half HP. And after that, go to the green zone. Go talk to Mr. Captain. And that's it, guys. He will then send you to the third C. And that's it. We've reached third C using Dark Blade V2. Next up, I'm gonna try and unlock the V3 and reach max level. Okay? So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is Gamer Gnome. And Gamer Gnome out.